So what I have for you now, the, the beauty of what I'm doing today is I don't have to cook it. So I'm ju really just kind of explaining what, what I did. So right here, I have celery. So celery is super inexpensive, easy to get, get your hands on. And I made tuna. So now this tuna was Billy's recipe. You guys know Billy. Um, this was his recipe. So I'm going to go over the ingredients that were in that that are in that, and then I'm going to show you how I infuse it. Then we're going to go to the desserts. Okay, so his tuna has um, Wakana's chili lime seasoning. That's 200 milligrams of CBD in it, um, uh, in the bottle. And so each teaspoon is about five milligrams. So we add, that's what it's infused with. So we first, of course, started with tuna. Um, we had some red onions in it. We had um, some fresh garlic that was chopped and minced. Um, we had jalapenos from my grandmother's garden, um, Medea's garden. We used some um, extra virgin olive oil, some vegan mayo. I don't know if I have that in the screen. We have some vegan mayo and um, mustard and pepper. And also at the very top of it. So I just blended all of that together and if you know me, I like to infuse each item by, um, you know, when I do it, because I don't want any waste. Um, so each one of these, I put three drops of Wakana culinary oil in. So remember, we've got the chili lime seasoning on it, and we also um, have Wakana's culinary oil. This is 500 milligrams of CBD in the bottle, and so each drop is 1.67 milligrams. So three drops is about, about five milligrams, and I usually do that per serving or per item. So three drops on each, just put a little smoked paprika on the top for color. And then there you go, super simple, easy to hold. When you're at a picnic, you really don't wanna have to deal with the spoon and fork and, and, you know, if you don't have to. And then, so um, this is another way that you can do the um, tuna. So we've got the same tuna. Remember that the tuna is infused with the um, Wakana chili lime. And then, so I just put potato chips in there you could actually drop the, um, you know, you can season the culinary, I mean, sorry, the potato chips with the chili lime seasoning. It's all absolutely wonderful. Um, also, I took an avocado and I just cut it in half and then I just scooped it out, trying to keep it in its um, natural form. Just topped it off with um, tuna and then put some smoked paprika on the very top. For seasoning, just kind of garnished it with the tomatoes. I know tomatoes are not bitter challenge approved, but just garnished it with a tomato. And so there's a super simple infused, great way to infuse your um, like small bites for at a picnic. So and then we have the dessert and I've been a little anxious to get to this because this is one of my favorites. So now you can actually take, so I have raspberries, blueberries, just kind of a little medley here. You can use whatever um, fruit you want. These go really good for what I'm making. Um, and remember, this is all Ravinia infused. Also, so I know that I'm just going to put in this cup the amount that I'm going to use for, um, for my serving. And so I'm just going to take a couple of drops, about three drops, and I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. But um, I think I put six drops in this because this is about two servings. You're just going to mix it around in order to let it kind of marinate or get on all of it. Um, and then I'm going to infuse it a little later also. And then so I just took these little, um, what are they called? I, like, um, little pastries, like um, little cakes. They're like little cakes. And um, so I'm just going to scoop some of this in the middle. Is that an angel food cake? It's not angel food, no. It's just... Sponge um, cake? Yeah, like a sponge That's cake. That's what it is. Yeah, yeah sponge. I forget what okay. they call them. That's back in the day. That looks good. Right. <laughs> okay, so um, then I'm just going to put the fruit right in the middle, and then I'm going to drop, or you can drop your culinary oil. I like to infuse each one of my items. And remember, when you're doing those vending events or you want to sell some food at your table that's infused, this is another quick, easy way to do that. And then I just um, topped it off with a dollop of, um, there we go, sorry. And then I just topped that off with a dollop of, um, this is like keto approved um, whipped cream. 
So, um, you know, it's called True Whip. And I always try to, to make sure that most of the items that I'm using are Bitters Challenge approved so that you guys can um, do it without guilt. Um, another thing you can also do is I have this ice cream and it's also the one gram butter pecan. Phyllis, I know you guys like this. This is a, a, a great compliment to that also. So, and then what else do I have here? Oh, this was another thing. I'm talking about vending events. I know I'm trying to jam pack a lot in this small amount of time, but I found these little cookies. Uh, this even looks like it has a cannabis leaf on there. I don't know, got these from um, Jewel just in the bakery. They just got a little um, chocolate frosting on it. And so what I did is I just stuck a broad spectrum gummy in the very top. When I'm at a vending event, I can sell this little cake that has one gummy in it for $5. Um, you can sell it for a little more than that if you want, but um, this is a nice way for people. Whenever you're at vending events, people always wanna eat. So you never wanna lose a sale to all of the food vendors. This is a great way for you to do it simply and it'll last in the temperatures. So Thank there you for that great idea. That's a great idea. And they'll oh. love that gummy. So right. And then, you know, I use the broad spectrum, um, but you can use a power gummy. You could even use a Delta 8. Make sure that you're using that disclaimer when you're using that Delta 8. But this is a great way to infuse your food while you're out, while you're home, while you're nibbling, however. So um, hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, that's it for me. That was delicious looking. Thank you so much.